Want to know how to use stickers in your Instagram stories to increase engagement and sales with your clients or your customers? Stay tuned, we're gonna cover that in this video. All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Jordan Steen, also known as Serial Entrepreneur. And at this channel, we talk all about starting a marketing agency, a personal brand, or really building any kind of online business. So if you're interested in any of those topics I just mentioned, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell in the bottom right-hand corner of this video, because that's how you're gonna get notified with all of our new content, our free giveaways, our guides, our templates, everything else that we do here at this channel. So Instagram stories are really a cool way to get people to engage with your content without it seeming like it's salesy, right? It's gonna get them engaged because there's different types of stickers that you can use in different situations. And we're gonna give you some examples today. We're gonna to go on screen on my phone and actually show you some of these stickers and how can they how they can be used in action. But you want to know that you can use these stickers to get people to engage and that's gonna build your community and the people and how they communicate with you, how they reach out to you. And this is ultimately going to what? Increase your organic reach, which is going to allow you to reach more people without having to spend a bunch of money or any money at all because it's organic. So on Instagram, they've actually built a bunch of cool stickers. You have like a poll sticker, you have the rating sticker where you can drag the face and on how much you love it or don't like it. Uh, they have the day sticker, like what day it is or what time it is. You have the hashtag one, the mention, the location one, and a bunch of other stickers that are really, really useful as far as marketing to an audience and getting either feedback or getting them just to engage with a specific product or service or giveaway or event that you're hosting with your business. But we're gonna go ahead and hop on my screen here and actually show you some of the ideas that I have for you guys and just to get your mind flowing about using Instagram stories in your marketing content, on your content calendar, or even in your ad campaigns. But before we do that, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because we're also going to show you another resource that you'll need about creating Instagram ads that are gonna be super, super effective, right? You want that to happen. If you're gonna create all these stories, you should create ads that are effective too, right? So you're gonna kinda wanna watch both of these videos. Okay, everyone, so I have at this point taken a picture it's a goofy picture of me obviously and I've set a filter on it that I want to use for the photo uh, if you guys don't know how to take a story photo at this point you're in a lot of trouble I would suggest go looking up a video on how to shoot a story um, we haven't shot a video I don't think that basic yet but most of you if you don't please go learn that seriously but most of you if you're marketers you know how to shoot a story by now so you're gonna shoot a story photo or a video whatever you want to do and then you're gonna find this little stickers option right up here. So what I want you guys to think about is don't just go shoot videos necessarily every single day and just put stickers on them and kind of ad hoc it together, meaning like last minute put it together, right? Actually plan out your stories. This is what we're in the process of building is building processes to take different stories and shoot all of this video for story content because it takes a lot to shoot video content for stories. So you should shoot it all up front. Just some extra tips for you guys. Uh, shoot a bunch of promo filler footage and then you can shoot your stuff where it's you actually organically shooting it that day. Uh, it's, it's too hard to shoot a bunch of different videos all day unless you're always on your phone and on that platform. But then to take that same content and translate it to other platforms, you need a plan in place, right? If you're gonna use Snapchat stories, Facebook stories, YouTube stories, everybody has a story now. If you're going to be using all those platforms congruently, then you need to make sure you have a plan in place. Uh, but once you get your photo taken and you have your plan in place and you know what sticker you're gonna use, you're gonna come up to this little option right here, this little happy face, not this one. You're gonna come over to this little sticker looking face. You're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up all of your different sticker options. So location, mention, hashtag, a time. You can do a poll, GIF, questions, a countdown, a rating bar, temperature. You can take a photo for a sticker. You can do a Wednesday uh, or what day it is. You, all of these different Wednesday icons, right? Uh, you have lit, yes, all of these different stickers that you can use. This is a great one for marketers because if you're trying to speak, right, and you're talking in the message and it's important to hear words, you're gonna wanna tell people to turn the sound on. Why? Because if there's sound, if most people, like 90% of people I think is the st statistic, uh, go around with their phone with the media off because they don't want to be in a public place and all of a sudden the sound goes off. That's embarrassing to a lot of people, right? So you want to tell people to turn the sound on. There's all of these different stickers that you can use. I want to show you guys a couple that I like using. Also, look, this is a great one that a lot of people don't even think to use. This one right here tells is basically telling people to like it, 
right? Or to engage with it. That's what people see. When they see this emblem, it means people are engaging either with their profile. It's a notification telling you that something happened, right? An engagement happened. So this sticker used on the right photo can add engagement to a story. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a bunch of the main ones because these are my favorite ones and a lot of people's favorite ones, obviously, because they entice engagement. So what we'll talk about first is the question one. So the question sticker is really cool. You just click on it and it's going to add it to your post. Then you can even type in a specific question you want to be asked. I can ask that and tell people or tell people basically to respond to my question. Then I can actually click on it and move it around the screen. It's a little harder because I'm doing it on desktop instead of using my phone to do it. But you guys can see what I mean. When you're doing this on your phone, it's a lot easier. You can actually drag it and move it around and boom, it's set, right? And then they can actually respond to you and type something in there and send it to you. The cool thing is you can actually see those responses in analytics and then go click on that response and reply to it in another story. So that way you're actually engaging with your community publicly. You're answering their questions live and even showing them, hey, this is who asked this question. Here's my response to your question. So questions are easily one of the best ways to get your audience to, pro to provide feedback, just to engage in general, to give you content ideas, all kinds of stuff that are super useful for marketing campaigns. It's all about what questions you plan to ask and planning those questions out is also part of the process. You don't just want to wing your questions. Have a purpose behind that question. So for me, what is your biggest struggle with SMMA? That's going to give me a ton of content ideas that I can use to create blog articles and YouTube videos about because if I find a common theme amongst a bunch of people who answer the question, obviously that's a topic that people want to know about, right? So this is using these engagement features basically to find new content ideas and to get feedback from your customers, which obviously is going to make them happier, right? Which means you sell more and engage more with your, your audience. So quick question for you guys. Have you used the question sticker either on your personal profile stories or any of your clients or your business profile stories before? If you have, what kinds of questions are you asking? Not like this specific question, but are you asking questions about products or about content or about issues that they're having with customer support? What, are, what kind of questions are you asking your customers or your audience rather? So the next one, guys, that we're going to talk about, and I'm going to do this for my phone because it's actually a lot more responsive when I do it for my phone. But the next one we're going to talk about is the poll. And this is great when you're trying to get feedback on one topic or another or whether you want to launch a new product or not, uh, whether you should improve a service or not. Really just, again, getting more feedback from people. You don't even have to. I gave the example of using the question to get feedback, but you can use it in several different ways, right? It doesn't have to just get to be about getting feedback from uh, a customer about a product or service. It can be about just about anything that would be relevant to your audiences. So asking a question and then allowing people to respond yes or no, what they think about that specific topic or issue or product or service. Now, another great one is going to be the rating bar. If you click the sticker, you'll see the little rating bar right around. I'll pull my mouse over right around here is the rating bar, right? And you can actually add that to your page and you can even add a question. If you like, you can see you can add a question and ask them to rate the question uh, to get feedback. This is, again, another way to get feedback. Or you can do something like a lot of restaurants or people who have uh, things that are visually appealing, like houses, things like that. They can post them and use this rating bar, kind of twist it off to the side and put it on here and say, what do you think about this? You could even add text separately and say, what do you think, right? and then put this right over the text. Everything is pretty much makeable in the way that you would want it to be if you wanted it to look like a professional designer created these things. Instagram is making it to where the average user can make the things look just as flashy as if a designer were to create it themselves, like a professional designer, right? Obviously a designer has a much more ability than someone just using a camera phone and putting in the little emojis and the text. But you guys get what I'm saying. It makes it to where it's a lot more engaging. No matter who is using this platform, it's going to make it engaging if you use it the right way. So the next sticker that we're going to talk about is another one of my favorite ones. It's the countdown. And this could be used for any event that you're running, any product launch, any big sponsorship that's happening or taking place, whatever you want to do a countdown for, you can do a countdown for. And so, for example, we're doing a digital marketing school 2.0 version, right? We're getting all new content. We're doing all new video production because we're much better at what we're doing. We're even adding quizzes and tests to the program. We're going to do the cert certi uh, certification, the certificate, which we've previously done, but we're going to advertise that more. It's going to be a much, much better built 
and produced course. So we're gonna do a, a new launch and we would obviously want to do a DMS 2.0 as a countdown sticker that we do in our stories, right? So that'll be incorporated into our launch campaign. So we'll do DMO, DMS 2.0 launch, and then we'll set our time and end date. So let's just say we we're gonna launch it in June, June 28th, and it's an all day thing. Boom, you can do all day, or you can choose an end date, like you can do it, you know, if it's more than one day, or you can just do all day that day, and boom. So we have four months, three days, and one hour, and you can start to let people know ahead of time, because it's all about the pre-campaign as well. You have to let people know that something is happening, and then follow up, follow up, and then launch day happens, and then boom, everybody gets notified that the launch is live, and then all of these people start to create this organic engagement around your content, and boom, tons of more sales start flooding in. But this is a great way, again, to engage people in your stories and to get them to start buying products. It's all about how you incorporate these stories into your campaign. If you're not thinking about these options and saying, okay, we need more stories. We have a campaign for this coming up in two months, or we're thinking about doing this huge restaurant event in a month. We need to start thinking of how we can incorporate stories and countdowns, not only in our Facebook posts and our Instagram posts and all of that, but in our stories feeds and everything like that, because this is where people are at. And it's actually much cheaper to advertise here currently and in messenger. So take, take advantage of where opportunities exist. It's going to make you happier because your customers will be happier. Oh, and are you thinking about starting a personal brand in 2019? It's maybe a YouTube channel or starting a blog or starting an e-commerce store where you sell products that are related to something that you love? If you are, then you want to check out this video we put together in the top right hand corner. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the most lucrative niches out there, getting into blogging and YouTubing if you know and understand how to create content. So using a mention sticker is the last one I'm gonna talk about because people don't do enough collaboration and I feel like it's because they don't know the right ways to do it and they don't understand the benefit. Collaboration is easily one of the best ways that we get our, our brand and our name out there and that's one of the best ways you can do it with other local businesses as well for either your clients or with your own agency. So to do a simple collaboration, all you have to do is do a story with a mention. As you can see, I put my buddy Ruan Marino. What's up, Ruan? I'll make sure, I know you're gonna probably see this video later, so what up? Uh, but I'm adding my buddy Ruan in here because he and I do content together all the time and I'm making it about creating a video on using stickers in, on using stickers in, what I should do is put on IG and then mention sticker. So you guys can see, anybody can take this and make it like decent looking. I'm not a designer, I never have claimed to be, but I can take something simple like this and make it at least more engaging than what I could if it was just me taking a photo and not having these options to play with stickers. So I'm just gonna mess around with this here, get it to where I would want to sit, and then boom, that's it. Then I would add this to stories, and that's it, it's out, and wow, that's a weird thing to see once you get done adding to stories, so we're gonna close that out. All right, so, but you guys get what I'm saying. Mention stickers are very useful. <laughs> that was really funny, I'm sorry. Uh, mention stickers are very useful when you're trying to incorporate other brands and businesses into your campaign and reach new audiences. So make sure to take advantage of all of the different sticker features when you're creating content and new campaigns, because these can be used in the ads too. But that's it for the Instagram stickers and using them in your campaigns and some ideas to get your minds jogging and understand and what you can actually use this option or these features for. But since you stayed till the end, make sure you check out this video in the top right hand corner on creating Instagram story ads and using them in your campaigns for 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching. New subscribers, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Current and old subscribers, basically OG fam. I love you guys, thank you so much for continuing to support me. If you haven't yet subscribed, you're gonna wanna make sure you do that. I promise you, it will not let you down or I will not let you down. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in the bottom right hand corner and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, Serial Entrepreneur out, bye guys. Ready to start living the six figure, work wherever, be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.